<laughs> Tell me the worst night of your professional career. And you got a paycheck for it afterwards. Okay. Well, there's a lot, but uh, the worst gig I ever had, and I, I call it the worst because there was a, the threat of violence and death. Oh. There's been a lot of bad gigs, people leaving, but uh, I was in Baton Rouge, Louisiana at a disco called Oscars, and uh, we were the comics to go on on the disco dance floor, and uh, the first night we got there, it was a two-nighter, first night we got there, it was bowling night, women's bowling league, and there was 300 Louisiana women, beautiful, lined up doing shooters, pictures of shooters, and uh, people are dancing, women are dancing with each other. And uh, the bouncer takes a mic stand and a stool, pushes through the dancers, gets on the stage, I mean, on the uh, dance floor, and goes, Okay, we're about to start a comedy show. Everyone sit down. Turn the music off, Earl. Earl! We're going to do a comedy show. People are still dancing. Here's your first comic, Bill Silva. He weaves through the crowd and dancing and stands there amongst the dancers who are still dancing. There's no music. Begins the show. Uh, I'm sitting in the back of the room with my friend Ron Schock. Guy next to us is holding a towel to his head that is soaked with blood. He's ordering drinks, laughing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Give me no shoes. And we said to the waitress as she passes, what's wrong with him? Knife fight. Happens every night here. Knife fight. The guy's ear was hanging by just a little, little thread. He stayed for the whole show. <laughs> anyway, the first show that night, we had one show that night, uh, that show was supposed to last an hour and a half. It lasted 15 minutes. Why? Obviously, the first guy goes on, people are still dancing to no music. He introduces the second guy. He bails immediately. Let me bring up your first <laughs> act. Next guy goes up, Ron Shock. He goes up, and for some reason in the back of the room, someone starts yelling, Blow job! Blow job! Blow job! And finally, Ron says, is, uh, is he asking or giving? The crowd goes, ooh. This big guy comes through the crowd, up onto the dance floor, grabs Ron by the cheek, pulls him to his knees, and goes, I'm asking, faggot. Ron introduces me. <laughs> Thanks, Ron. <laughs> On his knees. <laughs> Bill Hicks. I come up, and I'm supposed to do 45 minutes. Um, about three minutes into it, a guy walks up to the railing around the dance floor and just goes, leans and looks at me. I say, can I help you? No. I go, what do you want? And he takes out a knife, takes the mic cord. <laughs> the music starts up, and the people still on the dance floor start dancing again. <laughs> that was night one. We have to go back the next night. Before the show, I go to Ron's room. And he says, I happen to have three hits of LSD-25. I'm taking one. <laughs> Who else is in? And I said, well, I'm in. So I took one, too. So we decided to go back tonight, and we're tripping. And uh, Bill Silva goes on stage, first guy up. There's less people there. All of them had been there the night before. So he had to change his material. Right, that whole minute that he did. He goes on, and for some reason, within a minute, there's an altercation and someone at the bar. And he goes, and Bill Silva said, what are you going to do, shoot me? The guy said, I might. <laughs> and he raises up his uh, pant leg, and in his boot, there's a pistol. And me and Ron are tripping, going, mm -hmm. they're armed. <laughs> they're armed. Waitress is walking by. She hears us. She goes, don't worry if anything happens. Raises up her shirt. There's a 22 in her skirt. They're all armed. And... Uh, we went up, tripping, and uh, sweat pouring off our faces. People were hurling bottles at us, real bottles, not, not even beer bottles. I'm talking the whole tequila bottle with that little mm -hmm. metal thing, that pourer. They were using that to fling it. A lot of, <laughs> a lot of vibrancy. And uh, I go on stage, and again, I'm supposed to be 45, and I, the whole show lasted about 22 minutes. And uh, all I see in the back is the door open, and Ron and Bill silhouetted in the doorway to the parking lot with the check, waving it, going, come on. Come on. And bottles are hitting the stage. And I ran through the audience. Out into the parking lot, the audience chased us. They're throwing bottles. The owner throwing chairs at us. We go out, and we have locked the keys in our cars. <laughs> Could anybody help us? <laughs> anybody got a coat hanger? So we just stand there going. Those bottles are hitting around us. And finally, we just broke our own window, and we took off. How many years ago was that? Uh, that was about six years ago.
Oh, you're a rough crowd. Rough crowd. Rough crowd. I've been back every year, and uh, they like me now. <laughs> that was the worst gig I've ever done. Because there was an actual threat of being killed, really. And they would have not thought, I mean, it would have been part of the festivities. <laughs> and then we danced. <laughs> Remember when Tommy threw up, and then we killed that guy? And then Earl couldn't find his hat. <laughs> <laughs>